So the next stage of doing the bathroom is putting some panelling around the bottom of the room. I'm doing this with some water resistant board which I've also varnished to make totally waterproof and then nail on some trim bits. Uh, I've done the bit over by the sink which doesn't look too bad and I've already screwed the boards on to the wall and the rest of the room. Uh, so the next job is going to be fitting the trim piece around the top. This is a piece that I've cut and milled to have a nice decorative edge and that literally just fits over the top of the wood so I can get these perfectly level without having the wood underneath being perfectly level. And then underneath that uh, I'm fitting a piece of trim. You can see this is the same trim that I'm using for the, to mark the actual panels out. And then there's a piece of skirting board at the bottom.
Well, things have certainly changed in the bathroom now. The panelling is done. It's all been painted a quite a nice dark blue, bluey green colour. And the top part of the walls has, it's actually in the same paint, it's just thinned down with some white. Uh, so it matches in. The tiling above the sink has been done. The grouting was done today, so that's just drying out. Um, tomorrow I shall get a mirror and a light above it. That's what the cables are for. The tower rail is back up. That's got a fan heater in the bottom of it. So that's all done. So the only things left to do painting wise is I've got to paint the window frame and the window sill. And then I've got a cupboard to go up in this space here and I've got to make some doors to go on this cupboard. The sink unit also needs doors but I have put shelves inside and I've put some panelling on the ends. This is recovered from a cupboard that was upstairs in one of the bedrooms that I took out. So that's a bit of recycling going on. But yeah, we're almost done with the bathroom now. Or I guess I should say shower room. Here we have the mirror that I'm going to use in the bathroom and what I'm going to do is put this heater element on the back of it so that it won't fog up. One of the things I hate is mirrors that steam up. So this heater leaves a gap around the edge of it on the back of the mirror but it's literally just Peel the backing off and stick it on. So there we go, that's the mirror up, the lights above it, and I've fitted a small shelf underneath. 
I don't like the bigger shelf, but this one was only two euros. I found it in a discount bin. I thought that that will do for now. But, um, interesting thing about the light mirror is the operated by a touch switch here. This is completely glass, so there's no danger of getting an electric shock. And to switch the light on, all you have to do is touch the circle in the middle. And so that turns the light and the heater on behind the mirror to stop it fogging up.